To be quite honest with you, I have no idea how I'm going to record this, but I'm going to try my best to show you proof that this is legit. Um, let's go here. Let's go here. And then you see you don't have the next button here, which means it's not bypassed. It's not jailbroken. And it has to connect to Wi-Fi or has to connect to a Mac to continue. And that's it. And nothing else is happening. So let's get started. First thing you're going to do is click semi-tethered bypass and type in your version. This is 16.2. All right, semi-tethered, okay. I'm really gonna see if I can fucking record this. This is, this is not gonna be easy by any means. All right, so now this is normal, you know, DFU mode, just like the normal pale rain jailbreak, because this is the pale rain jailbreak. It's just the modified version of it. So let's do that, DFU. Don't mind the background noise. Uh, the, the family's just getting it ready for Christmas. All right, so that's normal. Just hold it again. Just do DFU mode again. If you mess up, just start holding the combination again. And then just hold the home button. Okay, making progress. All right, so the iPad popped up in the screen here. So now you're just going to click cancel and just click OK here. It's literally all you gotta do. Okay, this is really annoying that this stupid ass image keeps popping up. That's why I turned on the wide camera. So what this does is this uses the Pale Rain's team jailbreak and it's a modified version. So it injects a modified setup file. So it bypasses uh, the lock. So you'll see it detected iOS 16 ibu right there all right let's just set this down so i could show you next step it's going to probably turn it back on okay there it goes just give it some time it has to modify some files, put some files in here before we can do the bypass. This is normal. It's doing something. And there we go. Connected. Continue. And I'm sorry that I'm recording this in portrait mode. I know you want to kill me. You wanted it to be in landscape, but it's just easier for me to hold the phone this way. Okay, and then once it shows uh, that you have to manually reboot, you have to manually reboot because it's, I don't know, it's just, I guess it's just buggy or we have to figure out a different way to shut it down. Something I just think is not working and part of it when it has to shut down. I'll show you that part. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right now it's still doing work and it's a semi-tethered bypass. So you have to have 32 gigabytes. I believe, I believe it's 32 gigabytes or more for this to work. You can try it on a 16 gigabyte device. I'm not sure it might work now, but um, I did test it on devices that had 64 gigabytes or more. And so what it's doing is it's creating a fake file system that it's going to boot from, something like that. And and then yeah, it's running a modified RAM disk pretty much. I'm not gonna explain it too much. Um, if you don't understand, I'm not gonna bore you with that. So you keep waiting, you keep waiting, it's doing its thing. This is normal. You gotta give it some time, especially because it's semi-tethered and you don't need to have a DCSD cable. This works without one. And this does not change your serial number. That's why you don't need the DCSD cable. Um, you can just use a regular cable. Gonna keep waiting.
I don't know, maybe grab a beer or some popcorn in the meantime while this is doing this. You know, when you actually sit at it and you just stare at it, it actually feels a lot longer than when you're actually doing stuff, so. This feels so much longer than normal, but it is taking its time, so just wait. Because you can see right here, it says creating fake file system. This may take up to 10 minutes. It should be finishing up anytime soon. Come on. Maybe click the home button sometimes. Sometimes that freezes it for some reason, but just wait, just wait, it's doing its thing. Like it says in the terminal, it can take up to 10 minutes. There we go, look at that. It's doing the rest of the work. Now there's the bypass right here. There's the patch. Okay. Now it's downloading the loader, the pale rain loader. And then after that, it's downloading, you know, it's downloading the loader and some other shit. I forget the fucking name for it. I don't have the brain power right now to think of it. All right, it's finishing up, finishing stage one. There we go. And now it says waiting for device in normal mode. Right there. Phase one done. Good. All right. So let's do this. Oh, you see the screen went black. All right. So now do this. Um, no idea why it works this way, but just, this is the way I've always done it. Maybe you don't need to do this, but this is how it's always worked. Up, down, hold, and hold it for like 30 seconds. It might or may not boot up, and that's fine. But this is how it's always worked for me, so this is how I'm gonna stick with the tutorial. All right, nothing's happening still. It should have already like turned on, so after you just did that, just to be safe, just do that, I don't know. Then just hold this and this, and that's it. Hold it for like 10 seconds or 20 seconds maybe. It might take some time. As soon as you see the Apple logo, you can just let go. That's all you need to do. Let go. Just like that. And now it's just gonna turn on normally, so nothing's gonna happen. But once it turns on normally, after that, it's gonna kick it back into recovery mode and then it's gonna jailbreak it and boot it up with the modified uh, iCloud files and the jailbreak and the pale rain loader, all that stuff is gonna be in here. So when you're doing this, you're jailbreaking it and you're bypassing it. All 
Okay, so now it says waiting for device in recovery mode, enter DFU, and this is recovery mode. That's what you're supposed to be at. If you're here, you're going, the, you're doing the right steps so far. So now just DFU mode. Six, eight seconds, screen goes black. Wait about two more seconds, three seconds. Then just hold the home button or whatever you gotta do for your device. Each device is different, so look up how to put your device into DFU mode. And after holding it for 10 to 15 seconds, if it's still at the black screen, and you let go and it's still at the black screen, good job. All you gotta do now, let me just zoom this out, is you just gotta click OK. Now it says device bypassed, device is bypassed, and it should boot up bypassed. There we go, it's working, see? And this is how I got the method to work. And this is, I'm gonna show you proof that it's now bypassed. Device is now bypassed. We can unplug it. And that's all there is to it, guys. That is exactly how you bypass it. Now watch this. Look at that. Next. Continue. So this is the tutorial pretty much on how to do it. And you're bypassed. Set up later. Don't use. Don't use. If it doesn't let you choose, like, do not use a passcode, wipe the device again and try everything again. Make sure you wipe the device if you're having any issues. Continue, continue, continue. And that is how it's done. And that is the device bypassed on iOS 16.2. iPad 6 generation, so any devices that have been trying to jailbreak and they've been having issues and you're just trying to jailbreak, for example, do the volume up, volume down, and lock button. And then after that, force boot it. I guess that's how it works for me. So just follow the tutorial, do it again. And now you can use the app store. What the hell's in here? Okay. But you can use the app store and that's all that works. Uh, FaceTime does not work. iCloud does not work because it's not actually removed. It just tricks the device into thinking it's activated. So you can use the app store, download apps, watch YouTube, have all that fun stuff. But everything else is still under development, so I'll let you know once that's done. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a merry, merry Christmas. And Euphoria out.